Hi, this is Frank Carmody. Today we're going to work in Inventor to uh, explore some of the 3D tools that are available when creating a part file. So I'm going to go ahead up to the top here and open up a new part file. Uh, we're just going to make a simple 3D object today. So <clears throat> I'm going to take my rectangle tool, click on rectangle, click, pull, click. I'm going to dimension this rectangle to be 2 inches by 3 inches. Okay, so now I have a 3 by 2 rectangle. Uh, I'm also going to uh, put a circle in the middle of it. So I'm going to click, pull, click, and I'm going to start to dimension. I'm going to make this a one-inch diameter circle. And I'm going to be sure that it's centered. Uh, although I used the, you saw the green dotted lines when I set my center point, uh, I still want to make sure that it is centered. So pull it up, and in fact it is centered uh, lengthwise. <coughs> and it is also centered height-wise. <coughs> you can see that 1.5 is half of 3 and 1 is half of 2 there. And that comes from the center point of the circle. Okay, so my sketch is fully dimensioned. Now, how do you go from getting a two-dimensional sketch to be three dimensions? What we do is we do, <coughs> we start to right-click. So we right-click, done, that will get us out of the dimensioning tool then right click and notice this finish sketch. It'll be right at the top here. Finish sketch. Right click finish sketch. That takes us out of sketch mode and puts us into 3D modeling mode. Okay, so you notice that the ribbons at the top here change. There's no more sketch toolbar. There's a model toolbar that we have all of our 3D tools on. Notice that in our browser bar I still have my sketch right here. So if I wanted to go back in and edit my sketch, I can do it two ways. So let's say that I've, I've right-clicked, I've finished my sketch, I've clicked Finish Sketch, and now I'm in 3D model mode, and I want to go back in and edit my sketch. I go, oh, wait a minute, I wanted to make that circle 1.5 inches instead of 1 inch. There's two ways to do it. I can right-click on any line in the sketch and click Edit Sketch from the right-click menu. I can also go over to my browser bar and just double click the sketch. Oops, I'm sorry, I can right click the sketch and click edit sketch. Okay, so now I can tell that I'm back in editing sketch because I see all of my grid lines on here. So let's say that I wanted to change this, this one back to, or into 1.5. Okay, so I'd right click done, right click Finish sketch, and now I'm back into 3D modeling mode. The most simple, well, the most simple uh, form of creating a 3D object in Inventor is to use the extrude tool. And extrude is very commonly used. So we're going to click on extrude. Extrude opens up. Now, on every 3D modeling tool dialog <coughs> in Inventor, we have a couple of arrows and what will happen is is the arrows that are red we still need to select so I'm gonna click on the red arrow which is selected by default actually and notice how when I go over my my sketch any enclosed area that means any area without any gaps in it will highlight so I'm gonna highlight the rectangle without the circle now as I'm doing this, I can use this cube over here allows me to turn the 3D space around. So I'm going to grab the cube. I can click. So I click and hold the side of the cube and pull it while I'm still clicking and holding it. Just like this. And you can see that it's going to give me a, a preview of what my shape is going to look. So when I'm extrude, I the area that I to extrude, I can select whether I want it to go back from the area 
whether I want the distance, which is 1 nth, to be around the initial sketch, or whether I want it to come forward. Okay. I can also change the uh, amount of extrusion. So I could change this to 10 inches if I wanted to, and I could make it go back. Okay. I could zoom all. Okay, and take a look at the difference in the shape there. Okay. I could make it 100 inches if I wanted to. Okay, now it looks quite a lot, quite a bit different. Okay, so let's take it back. Let's make it 3 inches. Zoom all again. And I went ahead and I clicked OK. Whoops. Okay, and I went ahead and I clicked OK. Now, <coughs> go back in. Uh, now, in my browser bar, you'll notice that now there's an extrusion. And I can actually right click. I'm sorry, I can. right click and I can click edit feature which means that I'm going to edit the, the the options for my extrusion so if I wanted to I could go back and say I made a mistake it wasn't supposed to be 3 inches it was supposed to be 3.5 inches and I can click OK the browser bar, bar is extremely necessary when you're drawing an inventor <clears throat> this is how you have to you won't have to go back and redo things you can just go back and edit what you've already done you can also, if remember my sketch one, <clears throat> well my sketch one is now inside of extrusion one. Okay, the rule in Inventor is you can have one sketch for every 3D feature. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this as Mr. Carmody Rectangular Solid. I'm going to save it and I would upload it. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and create a sketch, right click done, right click finish sketch, and extrude that sketch just like I've done here. When you're finished, save your part and upload. Thank you.